हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज ए केस ऑफ ए सिंपल पारा ओवरियन सिस्ट दिस इज ए टेन सेंटीमीटर लेफ्ट साइड पारा ओवरियन सिस्ट एंड दिस पेशेंट हैज प्रीवियस हिस्ट्री ऑफ एपेंडिसाइटिस आल्सो सो वी विल डू एपेंडेक्टोमी एज वेल हेयर द वेरियस लिटल वी आर पुटिंग फ्रॉम द इनफीए क्रीज ऑफ अम्बलिकस बिकॉज पेशेंट इज लिटल ओबीज सो द अम्बलिकस इज डिस्प्लेस डाउन बट द ट्रोकार वी विल पुट सुपरा अम्बलाइकल so this is the various needle is introduced after that we will do irrigation suction and hanging drop test so this is irrigation test just a syringe with the saline and then suction nothing is coming only bubble is coming out and you can see there is a ball in the disposable various needle of johnson and johnson there is a ball and this ball should sink down that is just like a hanging drop test and now this is plunger test we will take the plunger of the syringe out and we can see the column of the fluid which is in the syringe is sinking down that also is a very good indicator to know that you are inside the abdomen so we have done all the test successfully and we can see the syringe fluid has been sucked down because there is a negative pressure inside the abdomen so it will suck it after that we are attaching the tubing of the insufflator and this ball is also sinked now here flow rate is as usual 1 liter per minute and initially within few second your actual pressure will be single digit and we can see slowly slowly pneumoperitoneum is started and we can see the minimum amount of the gas required to achieve a pneumoperitoneum of 15 in a normal adult is 1.5 and maximum is 6 so the variables already you know one of the variable is the size of the patient another is parity another variable is the muscle relaxant another variable is the bowel preparation and another variable is any space occupying lesion we will put the trocar here supraumbilical and uh, various needle just 1 mm stab wound which is given over the inferior crease of umbilicus and we are waiting for the flow to stop as soon as the actual pressure will reach to the pressure pressure the flow will automatically stop and after that you can remove the various needle so we can see the stretch of the abdomen is very nicely visible and now it's over and now we will give the supraumbilical approximately 5 cm above the umbilicus advantage is that you can have a freedom of cranial traction you can bring the cyst little in the abdomen you can pull it from pelvis to the abdomen and you will have the more room to perform surgery and you can have a better panoramic view that's why most of the operative surgery supra umbilical port is appreciated and this is the 10 mm port which is introduced supra umbilical and after that we will put the telescope inside the abdomen so this is hissing sound you can see this is hissing sound of the trocar and then trocar will be removed and after that again you will attach the tubing of insufflator and here maximum flow rate will be increased to 10 ml 10 liter per minute and now this is the telescope is introduced and now we will have the initial assessment of the anatomy and initial diagnostic laparoscopy after that we will put the secondary port according to baseball diamond concept here we will perform only two ipsilateral port the one is 7.5 cm lateral and again one is 7.5 cm lateral and below table of the patient will be head down slowly slowly and uh, this is the steep tailback position 30 degree head down will be introduced after that we will enter inside and we will start the procedure so this is a very simple surgery para ovarian cyst are very simple and together with the appendectomy this is interval appendectomy which will perform in this patient so now here we are inside we can see this is the cyst which is already in the abdomen and it's a floating it's above the uterus and it is left side attachment so in the large cyst it is important that first you should aspirate it we are conform with the you know the initial ca 125 lhf sh estradiol cea and other tumor markers are completely normal and we are aspirating it here and we can see that once you aspirate you can see the consistency of the fluid and here you see clear cut fluid is coming watery fluid is coming in the syringe of the aspiration needle there is no any endometrioma there is no any dermoid so it is a colorless simple serous fluid and that will be sucked the sucking has advantage that the cyst will collapse 
and after that you can hold it by the grasper because up to 4 cm cyst you can try to separate it without puncturing but after that if you will try it will slip from your grasper and you cannot remove it you cannot remove it without holding and without aspirating it so this is aspirated after that is aspiration will be time taking procedure so you can catch it with the grasper remove the aspiration needle and with the harmony you can enlarge the incision little bit so that you can use a suction and with the suction you can aspirate the fluid content of the cyst very easily and faster so now this is a 5 m opening was done and now this is suction which is going into the fluid and then it will suck all the content of the cyst so it is easily sucked immediately and then we will start doing the because it is a para ovarian cyst so just you can take and this patient is approximately 45 year old and she doesn't have any desire to get pregnant again so we will remove tube as well as cyst together ovary we will leave it so this is little adhesion with the sigmoid colon as you can see a little adhesiolysis is being performed to separate we can see here in front is ovary and ovary is nice ovary is fine there is just para ovarian cyst so we don't have the difficulty in these cases because it is outside the ovary so just you can try to separate with the harmonic at IO ligament, infundibular ovarian ligament and then it will be easily separated. We will remove the left side of the tube also and that will be much better. You can see this is cystic wall is visible and then slowly slowly cyst is getting separated. So little, little traction also is given and it is separating. So this type of cyst hardly it takes only few seconds time to remove antromedial traction should be given and now this is separated from the ovary and now we will remove the tube as well so we will remain 6 mm away from the uterus and then cut the tube to prevent any uteroperitoneal fistula and to seal the tubal end so it is over now this is a follicular cyst on the right ovary that also we will better puncture so this cyst is kept over anterior cul-de-sac and now this is follicular cyst we have punctured it so this is right side right tube and right ovary is fine little adhesion so that we can separate it with the fimbrial end so this is over after that we will start now sucking the some fluid which is leaked out of the cystic wall and this is the suction going to the anterior cul-de-sac sucking all the fluid then posterior cul-de-sac sucking all the fluid this is simple cystic fluid so there is no any problem of metastasis or any other thing after that we will go to the appendix and we will remove the appendix as well and this is the atraumatic grasper holding the appendix giving anterior traction this is uh, with the harmonic you will start separating it the major appendix so just try to remain near the tip because directly you can go to the base but directly going to the base has advantage that you will have major appendix together and then removal with the 5mm port will be little struggling so if you start from the apex and you will remove all the major appendix then only thin appendix will be there and then taking out of the appendix will be very easy even with the 10mm port if you will open the valve it may come out easily so this is slowly slowly separating and reaching to the base of the appendix harmonic ligature bipolar thunderbeat and seal any instrument can be used for major appendix and slowly slowly it has to be separated you should be careful that accidentally your tip of the harmonic should not touch any bobble or cecum to prevent the knocking effect and the puncture so now we can see it is reaching up to the base and we can see the tinea coli is started visible after that this is the lateral adhesion if you have this is tinea coli laterally if it is adhered with the paracolic gutter you can just try to separate little adhesion and that's all we should try to go completely up to the base to prevent any incomplete appendectomy so it's over now this is misra's knot grasper will be introduced into the loop of the misra's knot and after that you will go to the base and you can tight it this knot is one 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 hitch one wind one lock second wind second lock third wind third lock this is a very strong knot and it can be used to tie the appendix with the confidence one knot is more than sufficient to tie this 
generally knotting is always preferred clipping should be avoided if you want to clip then you can use ds clip double strand clips are available that is a separate clip which is available for appendectomy or you may use the stapler so this is just leaving 3 to 5 mm in front of the knot and appendix is cut after that directly with the claw forceps you can hide it into the cannula and can taken out by opening the valve and now this is a cyst cyst you will hold the thinner part and slowly slowly this cyst will be also taken and this is outside we can see this is little bit a stretch of the rectus is required and then slowly you will put up down right left and you can take the cyst out alternatively you may use endo bag to take it out appendix here directly through the cannula we have taken and cyst is coming through the wound because it will not come through the cannula because you have to little bit stretch the rectus to bring it and once the structure is stretched now we can see you will hold it with blunt artery forceps and now it is out but it is essential now to close the port because any port which you have used for tissue retrieval will not remain 10 mm it will become dilated so here we are using cobbler's needle and just this is the piercing it with the muscle including all the layers and then from the other side we will take the suture out with the cobbler's needle port closure is essential to prevent hernia any port which has used for tissue retrieval should must be closed so here only 110 mm to 5 mm were there right now this is 5 mm telescope and we are closing the port under vision and this 10 mm port is closed after that gas is removed and all the port is taken out so thank you very much for watching this video have a nice day